What's up, fam? Yo. Don Fontaine. Sammy Lee. We are the Soul Brothers, closely affiliated with the Soul Squadron, Soul Squad Notification Boys. We slide up in your inbox as if it were a DM, all right, into your YouTube feed, and we say hello to your mother, okay? We're going to do another Versus video, part of the Versus series. Exactly. Okay, very important series to the world. We take all kinds of different performance basketball shoes in different combinations and verse them against each other. This is going to be the Nike Kyrie 2 versus the KD what? KD 8. All right, well, let's hop in on it. The traction on the Kyrie 2 is phenomenal. One of the best tractions you can get. Can't be beat. Can't be beat. It uh, is already won before we even explain the other traction to you. Exactly. Uh, it's got a big pivot point in the forefoot outsole uh, curvature traction wraps around it's it's phenomenal they need a sexy time minimal wiping really thick grooves and obviously Kyrie was probably one of the most important things to him is exactly. traction so for the win there that's the Kyrie too but you want to break down the KD8 a little bit so the KD8 is a solid rubber um, it's like I mean like it's a hard rubber mm -hmm. and um, it's it's a really nice traction but, uh, and you stop really hard and really fast, but not as fast as the Kyrie's. And also it attracts a good amount of dust. So you have to wipe maybe every like four to five plays, three to five plays or whatever. So um, it's not a bad traction pattern, but Kyrie 2 will not be beat mm -hmm. with, uh, with traction. It can't be beat. <laughs> it can't be beat. <laughs> we should do that. Yeah. We should do like an infomercial like, yeah. uh, whatever. Anyways. Yeah, sure. Uh, now moving on to the midsole. The cushion. It's where we kind of take a step back on KD the Kyrie a little eight. bit, yeah. Everything beats the Kyrie too, man. Yeah. So the, the the midsole is just a phylon. No, right? no, no, no. What is it actually? Well, I mean, they, it says phylon, but it's really like a like a newer form of concrete. Exactly. Right. That they uh, they have developed. We it's, have information. We got we got connections at Nike, right? <laughs> There's conspiracies going on. Illuminati. Phil Knight, exactly. call me dog. Phil Knight. So Phil Knight's our boy. That's our dog. Now, the traction, I mean the traction, the cushion is very responsive, which is cool. Good court feel. No impact protection, good court feel, um, and zero bounce. There is a zoom unit in there, you can't feel it. Yep. Uh, the KD8 is a full length articulated uh, zoom unit. And uh, above that, it's a Phylon. And it feels really nice. Uh, the heel compresses a good amount, and then the, the forefoot uh, with the ball of your foot uh, does compress. It feels like kind of like the LeBron 13, but it gives a lot more. So uh, for me, it gave in a little too much in that particular area where the ball of my foot is. So I didn't enjoy it like a lot, mm -hmm. but um, it, was, it was way better than the KD8s. You know, it has pretty good impact protection. The court feels there. It's bouncy, and then it's re uh, pretty responsive. So uh, KD8 with the win mm -hmm. cushioning system. Okay, moving on to the uppers. Now the upper in the Kyrie twos is really nothing special. It uh, it supplies a lot of support, being that it's like a fused, heavily fused upper, very thick, uh, cumbersome, and supportive, but not too soft. You, you definitely need to break it in. It will. Gave me and Sam some blisters. Yeah, no, it still gives me blisters. Yeah, man. so, uh, but then there's a midfoot strap in the midfoot, obviously, that helps with lockdown. That's a cool, nice little touch. And then there's like a composite mesh around the ankle that is actually a really nice material. Yep. Um, so the upper on that is so so. And give it like a seven. Eight. Yeah. Okay, on the KD8 is a, uh, their new technology, which they don't use in any other shoe besides like a Kobe Mentality 2. And it's their flyweave material. Mm hmm. And uh, it's a really soft material. It basically feels like a performance woven. So um, uh, it feels really soft and I give it to the KD8. Yeah, that material is cool. It's like uh, any performance woven, you get a lot of support mm -hmm. and it's extremely light and extremely thin. Yeah. Right, so it's, it feels almost like a knit, but it's stronger and lighter and thinner. Exactly. Which is cool. So, okay, moving on to the fit, support and lockdown. Fit in the Kyrie 2 is pretty good. It's a pretty good. Not bad. I like it. What about the KD8? The KD8, uh, the fit was good. Go true to size for both shoes. Mm -hmm. But um, the KD8 is just so freaking narrow. Like I got yeah. my regular size 7.5 and, and I could not play in those. 
I went up half a size to an eight and I still couldn't play in those. It yeah. gave me crazy ass needles. So for me, I could not play in that shoe at all because uh, the fit was just way too narrow and eight and a half would be way too big for me. So um, I just, I, I couldn't play, you know? Right. So for me, fit would go for the Kyrie 2s, right. personally for me. Yeah, the, the, the signature shoes, uh, signature models are really designed for that player's foot. And uh, we all know that um, Kevin Durant is a tarantula. So <laughs> very know, skinny. his foot is probably skinnier than his hand, exactly. his finger. So it's crazy narrow fit. But I have crazy narrow feet, so. Yeah, so if you have a narrow foot, it should be very nice yeah. with the KD8s, you know? So for me though, it's Kyrie 2s. Right. Uh, moving on to support, uh, I give it to the Kyries because they're mid. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like a low mid and um, the materials are really strong also. Yeah, it, it doesn't stretch at all. The KD8s don't stretch as much, but it's a little softer. So it yeah. has a little bit more give to it. So uh, in uh, on this, uh, what do you call it? The lateral side of the shoe, where mm -hmm. you do cuts and stuff, where the pinky toe is. Yeah. That's where a lot of the stress is. So um, when you're doing crossovers and stuff. So uh, I give the support to the Kyrie 2s. Uh -huh. In lockdown, I would give it a tie also. Fair enough, yeah. fair enough. Forefoot is not moving and heel. Uh, heel slippage is non-existent. So moving on to uh, ventilation, I will have to give it to the KD8s mm -hmm. because the Kyrie 2 is just a it's hot. pretty hot shoe. Yeah, um, it's it's like the hottest shoe I have besides the Curry 2.5. Yeah. You know, my foot is really hot in it. It sweats a lot. And since there's so much moisture, moisture, I do get crazy ass blisters. And since the traction is so good, I stop super hard, I get tr crazy yeah. ass blisters, you know? Which is good, but uh, I don't like getting blisters, you know? You gotta build up them calluses. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've been having them, dude. I've I know, that's the problem. You know it's rough, because we have gnarly calluses exactly. from, from balling. Yeah. But, uh, alright, uh, now durability. Durability... Probably Kyrie, Kyrie too. Twos. Yeah. I mean, that shoe's a tank, feels like a tank, you know? Probably lasts a real long time. Exactly. Have no issues with ours. Uh, aesthetics, I'm gonna go with Kyrie 2. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think, which one looks better. Um, obviously, it, all, it heavily depends on col colorway also. Exactly. But just straight silhouette. I like the Kyrie too. Yeah. Okay, now price-wise. The KD8, I think it was 180, right? Mm -hmm. And then the Kyrie 2 is 130 or 125. I don't remember. Yeah. 130, I think. And um, KD8 now is like 100 bucks. Yeah. And K, uh, Kyrie 2 is 100 bucks. So let's just say it's the same price. Yeah. Even though the KD is way more expensive retail price, but right now it's on sale. So uh, if you which one wins? That's a tough one. It is a tough one. Cause like, if the KD eight for me, if the fit was nice, if I can actually play in the shoe, I would. Cause I really like the KD eight elites. Right. You know, but and I think I would like the KD eights. If the fit didn't suck so much, right? But since the fit sucks, I will have to give the win to the uh, Kyrie too. But if you have a narrow foot, I would go with the KD eights if you can. Yeah. But the Kyrie two is actually a very nice, so I enjoy playing that too. So um, for me, I would I would go with the Kyrie twos. But if I could fit in, I would give it a tie or I uh, fuck I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's tough, you know, because uh, some days you might want a certain thing out of a shoe. Exactly. That's why we ha have various shoes that we play with. If you can only afford one shoe, then you have to kind of think about what categories are most important to you, obviously. And now if traction is one of your most important, then Kyrie 2 is at the top of the list. If you like the cushion, if you have a narrow foot or whatever, okay. then you should go with the KDs. So um, that's it for this versus video. This episode. This episode, uh, the Kyrie 2 for the win. Exactly. And uh, we will see you guys ASAP. My name is Don. Same with here. We are the Soul Brothers. Later. Peace.